Hilary Nzioki Mutembai has told Parliament that he will ensure police officers observe the rule of law and human rights should he be appointed to the position of Inspector General of Police. Mutembai also said he will continue with police reforms to realize a national police service that is not prone to corruption, but one guided by principles of accountability and transparency. Lawmakers sought answers from Mutembai on how he will fix corruption, extrajudicial killings and the the emergence of organized criminal gangs listening fifty five year old Hillary Zioki Mutiambai, President Uhuru Kenyatta's nominee for the position of Inspector General of the National Police Service, was vetted by a joint parliamentary committee that deals with national security, defense and foreign relations. Hi Hillary Nzioki Mutiambai. Mutiambai hails from Machakos County and has served the police for 27 years. He currently serves as Deputy Director of Counterterrorism Coordination at the National Intelligence Service. Mutiambai holds a Master's Degree in National Security Policy from Australia. He faced a barrage of questions from members. Maybe you tell us how you are going to deal with the senior officers in the police service to deal with the issue of corruption because corruption strikes from the low ladder up to the top. I will start leading the National Police Service with my own example. You are aware of you and crime, Kenya, about extra-generation killing? In this republic, we have seen blatant disobedience of court orders by the security apparatus. And I give an example of even the cases of Miguna Biguna, where we had a total of almost seven court orders disobeyed. And the perception out there, counter-terrorism, their work is kidnapping and killing. How are you going to make sure that extrajudicial killing stops in this country? The laws and the constitution is very clear on the way and the time and circumstances when a police officer is justifiable to use a gun. Concerns were raised about ethnicity and lack of regional balance in the National Police Service top positions. Go to regions like Western Kenya. You get the command of the police is like one ethnic community moved and taken there. The biggest thing we're fighting in this country apart from corruption is tribalism. And that is what we want it and we must be very, very deliberate from it. We have witnessed very few people knew me. Until now, today, I'm open that this is, this is the man we are talking about. If I were in Kakul of the tribe, I'm very sure even you combine me, they would have said that these guys, they know him. Western Kenya called 42 brothers that is causing murder and deaths. I'm bringing with me a wealth of experience of dealing with organized criminals, including terrorism. Mutiambai's rapid promotion in police, where some officers have marked timed in one rank for a decade or more, was also questioned. You will realize after, literally after every one year, he got promoted. I did not see anywhere where the nominee has gone for field service to broaden his practical skills to work in areas like Mandela, Farfland areas, hardship areas. I may actually conclude that the nominee is half-backed police officer. I'm competent, no issue of influence in my promotion, no godfather. The Joint Committee has retreated to write a final report on the suitability or otherwise of the nominee. The Joint Report will be tabled for debate in both houses next week. Patrick Abimo, KTN News.